All right. So what's up, James G? What's happening? Cruising the road. All right, so we got a uh, little spot market here on Tuesday. Here is the van map, as you can see. Lots of green. Got some yellow in there. Very few red on the van. What's up, B Smooth 4th? Brian, what's going on? He's 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, cruising the road. Tommy Z, what's happening? All right, so let's get right to it, and then we'll talk a little bit about percentages, uh, if time allows, because I watched OTJB's feed a little bit of it this morning, and I had a call from a uh, owner-operator that wanted to come on over here uh, when we can put more people on. Uh, then we're talking about percentages, right? Because that's that's the big thing. Some people think that 88% is better than 80, <clears throat> or 90 is better than 82, or 90 is better than 80, or, or 85 is better than 65. Not necessarily. Uh, it depends on what they're going to charge you for that percentage. And then what do you have to make every single week to be better than, let's say, a lower percentage? We'll go over some of that. Of course, that was in some other videos, but um, let's take a look at the country real quick. Because van freight is popping. Columbus, Ohio. <clears throat> We're gonna do van freight right now. Flatbed freight is lower. Our brokers has some flatbed freight um, that we're bidding on, and it's just it's just ch cheap. And they want to run it for cheap, and it, it, the thing is, is they can run this stuff on van, but van freight's paying so much right now that they can't. They're going to flatbed. You know, because they don't want to pay the high van rates. Um, Columbus, Ohio, 150 miles van 1157 loads uh, we will go with rate per mile and here we go 2500 716 a mile cleveland ohio or virginia prepared trucker what's happening can we look at lancaster new york sure we can mt mit music group what's happening thanks for checking in what's up jesse barrett or bennett sorry Quick, what's going on? I, mean, I need to get my glasses on, man, you know. Uh, but we can zoom this in a little bit. Let me see how that looks on this other screen. Oh, yeah, it looks good. So I can bring this up here like this, take a look. That's why I like this better than the other one, because you can actually zoom in and see the numbers. Um, I can also get myself out of there or go real, real small in the corner like that. And uh, you're still waiting on IRP plates. Well, it's Ohio against the Buckeye. If you're in Michigan, you have the plate. Or Indiana. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Electro. Thanks, back. <clears throat> this COVID thing's running rampant, man. Uh, cell phone repair. So the granddaughter cracked her screen. And we have AT&T. And, you know, they all have phones. So I bought a package, cover four phones. Lost, stolen, damaged, whatever. Uh, screen repairs 29 bucks 
nearest place is like 40 or 50 miles from me, right? But they offer at your house, bring your little truck out here, park in your driveway, repair the screen, leave. Uh, no extra charge. I said, shoot, I'll do that. Why, why drive 40, 50 miles somewhere and then come back? So that was them calling saying they'll be here at uh, 955. So this will be over at 955 or we'll put it on a loop and let you watch, you know, something. Um, Rockin' van, like there we go, Shadow Wolf. Copy time is where it's at. Good morning to all. And if it, does it sound that way? Because I gotta put some more stuff up. We're in the new office. Super high ceilings. You know, almost 13 feet high. Um, so, we don't have enough stuff in here yet to cut the, the uh, echoing and things like that. So, we will look at, so here's the good loads. We'll put this back on here, boom. Here's the good loads out of Ohio. As you can see, there's tons of them that are above $3 a mile. We're still in the fours. We were way up in the sevens and tens. Um, 1,300 Ohio to Illinois, 451 a mile. And we keep on going down. Two grand, 443 a mile, Ohio to Pennsylvania. Yeah, see, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get that shadow wolf right we're trying to get that the reverb you know like in the truck when you're on the cb radio you, you remember we're old we remember those old cb radios right you got your your talk back and put some reverb in it and all that good stuff so we can do that no we're not john see we could shoot the camera this way i have a level here because i'm still working there's a door right there so we're not in the bathroom. You know, uh, handmade the desk that I have right here. Uh, some of the light trucking guys seen it. Made this. Um, I'm gonna make a make a stand for the printers and stuff to go on to. Built my own shelves. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. Well, what else we got going on? John, John loves bathrooms. All right, so here we, <laughs> here we go. We got down here 900 bucks, 2,600 in New Jersey, uh, and so forth. And I think, I'm not even gonna go back and look at the question, but I think somebody said Lancaster, New York. So we will go to Lancaster. And once I get the door up and all that, that'll do a little bit, put some sound deadening stuff in the back. No problem, Shadow. We'll call you still with the uh, same phone number. Um, if it is, we, we got it. Uh, let's see, new search. I don't want Rochester. I should open this up in Chrome because it gives me a problem every time I use Safari. Uh, and this is for one day. We're gonna pick any day. Let me clear the dates. Any day, van, what do we got? 364 loads. Posted rate, 4,500 bucks. Dollar 82 to California. Now we can go down here to rate per mile. Hopefully it doesn't, there, it worked. Okay, 2,500 to Virginia, Erie, PA to Leesburg, Virginia, 723 a mile, 2,500 bucks. What's up, Steve? I read your text message and it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Reefer's more profitable. Not really, Glenn. I mean, it's just like anything else. It's like right now, Steve's working on van freight. Or I mean, flatbed freight. Um, he's got a customer. Uh, we're pricing lanes, but the problem is they're really, really low. Um, 
and the stuff can go on van, but they don't want to pay van freight rates right now because van is through the roof. Uh, so they're hauling it on flatbed. And a flatbed guys are getting killed on these loads. Uh, no rhyme or reason. It's, when, you, when you're on both sides of the fence, it's kind of hard because you're like, you know, should be paying this, but they don't want to pay that. And then you got to try to move it for that. I'm considering making a move from a tanker to drive in. Uh, what's a good trailer? A plate trailer. I, if I was going to do drive in, I'd get a plate trailer. That way you can haul the cans and things you're not. You can haul anything in that trailer for van because it's got the extra width and everything. Um, so you're not held out of those loads that require that. Because you never know. You might need it. And they don't cost that much. And I would, you know, they're all good trailers, right? You got Wabash. Now, now plate trailers. You're going to have Wabash. And you're going to have Vanguard. And you're going to have uh, Great Dane. Those three are the main plate trailer manufacturers. And Stout. Stout. You know, those four are the main plate trailer manufacturers. Um, so one of those four, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. They're all built like a tank anymore, John, if it's a plate trailer. Uh, so that's Lancaster, 2,500. That was a good one. Here's a New York to New York run, 1,2593 miles. Uh, 1,472.92, And if anybody wants to join in, I can throw the, the link up there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's not the link. It's not the link, folks. We'll have to wait and see. I gotta get this all deleted out of here. Do, 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 do. There it is. If you want to join in, there's a link. Um, Steve Atwood says, Hello, thinking seriously about quitting my 65 a year job to truck owner op out of Michigan. I have no mortgage. I would like to work no more than 20 days a month. Well, you could do that, Stephen. Michigan's a good place. You're in the heart of the Midwest, man. You got Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois. A little bit of PA, a uh, little bit of maybe Iowa, but you could stay in that little group there, that box and do very well. Um, and you can do interstate Michigan too and do real well. <coughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh, that's the East Coast right there, 1550. Kind of New York to College Point, New York, three minutes ago, Cohen Systems, 1550. And as you see, the rate check is right there. Now, let me go down here. And if you want the code for this load board, which is the best load board that gives you all these features for the price. It's the best one out there <clears throat> that will give you all these features for the price. Now, I just got an email. I don't know if anybody else did. Did anybody else get an email that said DAT was raising their prices? I got an email that DAT was raising their prices. Yeah. So, if you want this board, $35 a month, premium plus. Lauren and the crew bring this to you. They're always innovating, and it is the best load board for that price. Where is MT Fuel Corp? I don't know, he's probably hauling fuel, but he's going to be really busy. It's getting cold now. John, think about it. You have, he'll park that, he'll park his uh, van, he'll park his. Uh, big old truck he's got there, long nose, and it won't probably run the whole winter because he'll be running fuel and putting that in homes. So that's his main business. Uh, and to show you that rates are good, <coughs> we'll go to Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth. 
491 loads. Look at these, look at these, thousand bucks right there. Lancaster, Texas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 370 a mile. Yeah, that charges a fortune, man. <coughs> a fortune. <coughs> uh, Wisconsin is hot. That's right, Daryl. We'll, we'll check Wisconsin. So we scroll down 2550, Texas to uh, Florida. Another 277 over to uh, Tennessee. And if you really want to know how well it's doing, you just slide on down here a little bit further. And you go $2.00. And 11 cents over to Kentucky, and you'll probably be up in a dollar 75 or so back to the Midwest. Maybe two dollars depends if you know if they really need you or not. Now we can look at uh, home of Schneider National, Green Bay, Wisconsin. See what's shaking over in that neck of the woods. And then here's Wisconsin, 776 a mile. Here's 588, Wisconsin, Illinois, 800 bucks. And we can slide on down here, 3,600 bucks right there. Oh, that's Grand Rapids, Michigan. See, Michigan, the mass pays a lot of money. Here's a good one, Madison, Wisconsin, two, Harrisburg, PA, 3324, 12 a mile. Smoking. Look at the difference in the rate. 63 cents above 349 two week average to get that kind of average uh, on other boards you're going to pay out the nose 3300 398 a mile to pa there and you can slide on down here and see boom 390 a mile wisconsin ohio that's above in the last two weeks by 28 cents wisconsin's on fire baby What's up with my sound? What do you mean? I'm, I'm reverbing? You like that? That's because of the high ceilings in here and there's nothing to cut the sound. So that's what we're going to have to work with. I could try to mute it a little bit. Here, let me see. I could mess with this mic. I don't know. I'll mess with it later. We'll try it later. That's right. The cat's howling. A soundboard. Yeah. Thank you. We'll go haul some freight. You going to buy me one? All right. So let's talk about this. Percentages. Okay. So I had a... I had a Gentleman called me yesterday, and Cascade knows because uh, we had Eddie on, <clears throat> and he wanted to come over here to like track and court, but we can't put nobody else on until it's the first of the year. So we are going to, we sent him to Eddie, right? So Eddie does like the same operation. Uh, you know, you pick your own loads and all this good stuff. Great guy. Right, John? So I sent him over to Eddie um, to see if Eddie can put him on. Now, he's at a place of 88%, which drivers would think 88 is better than 80. But it's not. It's not because you're not comparing apples to apples. But see, in drivers' minds, that's how people get people to come over. Because I'm paying 88, I'm paying 93, I'm paying 85. But, there's always a but. He was getting charged without trailer rental. If he just used their trailer and didn't rent it, um, they'd move his percentage down to 82. But he was still paying almost $600 a week in fees, in fees, mileage for the trailer, um, if the stuff, uh, ELD, liability and cargo insurance, and so forth and so forth. 
And so when you took that six hundred dollars, and if you and if you rented the trailer, it was a thousand fifty a week. Which, if you do the calculation, eighty eight percent. If you take uh, nine grand, and let me see if we can do this here. John says, John says, what, what? Yeah, uh, let's see here. Let me get this. All right, so if you take the, let's say nine grand, you times that by 88%, that's 79.20. Minus a thousand fifty is sixty-eight seventy. Now divide sixty-eight seventy by nine grand, and he's at seventy-six point three percent. So you can't even hit eighty percent, and there's no way you're gonna do nine grand. And there's no way you do that every single every single month, so or every single week. So if you take uh, ten grand, eighty-eight percent is eighty-eight hundred. You would subtract 1,050, you're left with 7,750. Divided by 10 grand, you're at 775. So there you go. Now, let's say he takes and he goes from 88 down to 82 with the $600. Uh, if you take $6,000 a week, times that by 82, you get forty-nine twenty minus your six hundred dollars. You get forty-three twenty. You divide that by your six thousand dollars. You're at seventy-two percent. So an eighty-two percent contract and still have those fees. It's really seventy-two percent. You lose ten percent on six grand. To get to eight grand, you're going to have to do. To get to eighty percent, you're going to have to do about nine or ten grand at that percentage. Um, so if you just do the numbers, take nine grand times 0.82, and then you subtract out the 7380, and you subtract out the 600, that's 6780, divide that by the nine grand, and you're at 75.3. <clears throat> because you, you know, if you take your nine grand uh, times 75%, you're at 6750. So, you know, you gotta watch. Uh, you know, a, a businessman, if you own a truck, you should be a businessman. Businessman first, driver second. Which means you're gonna know these calculations and you're gonna say, wait a minute, is that percentage really better than this percentage? Well, let me back all these numbers out and see what I have to make to make it work. So, for example, I had a guy, you know, let's just say is 88% <clears throat> with uh, only $450 coming out, right? Let's even go even better. Four fifty dollars a week. Covers all the stuff. Insurance and all that. They just pay for the, the company. And he gets 88%. So at five grand a week times 88% is 4400 Right? If you subtract your uh, 450 for that week, that's 39.50 divided by five grand, you have 79%. So it's gonna be probably about 5,500 to break even. Gotta go.
How many people do we lose? Like half, half the people. All right, so that's that's the show for today. Um, we'll see y'all later. Got the phone guy here fixing the screen on the phone. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you maybe tomorrow. Maybe.